Hi, welcome back to Orion Outreach. I'm Bethany Berger, and today I am joined by Bill Kokinas, who is the president of the Lake Orion Parade Group. Hi. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Good. So, tis the season. We're finally getting in there, you know, so everything's ended after Halloween. So, automatically, it's Christmas. Let's forget about Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> and and I do forget about Thanksgiving. <laughs> Being a part of the group, I would would not be shocked. I'm sure you've put a lot of planning into this. Um, but those days are finally coming up. So why don't we talk about those events? I know that we are starting December 1st. Um, we're going to be doing the Holly Jolly Folly. That is our main fundraiser. We do have a couple other fundraisers, um, which in September is a zombie walk mm -hmm. um, that uh, Ed's Broadway, Kathy and Lloyd Co. put on. That's a pretty good fundraiser for us. But the Holly Jolly Folly is our main fundraiser. It's sponsored by Golling Buick GMC. Um, and it's what I believe to be one of the largest attended events in North Oakland County, mm -hmm. uh, as far as people-wise goes. And uh, this year we're expecting, well, I should say expecting, we, ha we have over 400 people already signed up to attend. Awesome. Um, it's a dinner dance silent auction uh, with a with an open bar, not open bar, with a bar with beer and wine that are free, mm -hmm. uh, with your ticket prices and um, tickets are going fast. So if people want them, they got to get them now. All right. Because uh, I'm thinking within a week or so we'll be pretty much shut down with that. Yep. So this it, isn't just an event you can just walk into. You have to. Not be... anymore. It used to be, but not anymore. Um, it's it, it's um, catered by Italian Gardens. Uh, we have a band this year called Power Play Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, they're a really great band. Our master ceremonies is Rock and Ronnie as usual. And uh, it's a fun night. It's a busy night, uh, but it's a fun night. It starts off at 6 o'clock uh, with hors d'oeuvres and uh, viewing of the silent auction prizes. And then we go in for dinner. And then after that, we have Power Play Detroit will be playing. And supposed to go to 11 o'clock but if the crowd's there uh, we keep going all right that sounds awesome that's a nice way to kick off the christmas spirit i think it, it is for us we and we and a lot of people will come up and tell us this starts their christmas week christmas mm -hmm. month um so we do well we have a great um group at gowlings that does so much for us um they handle the silent auction the cleanup the tear down um and, and it's just a fun night Mm -hmm. So what are some of the kind of things that might be at this silent auction? Oh, well, let's see. We have a lot of Christmas stuff that uh, my wife and I have picked up at different craft shows. Uh, mm -hmm. This year we'll have a, a bike donated by the bike shop in the village. Uh, we got some a grill this year, um, just a ton of stuff. Awesome. Got, a, uh, got a lot of bo uh, sports stuff. One of the things I know I'm bidding on is... The Detroit Tigers donated a Spencer Torkelson autograph bat. So oh, yeah. I've already talked to my wife and told her it's mine. <laughs> no, not really, but I'm, I'll be yeah. bidding on it. Your name will be on that list for sure. Yeah, well, last year my wife and I, um, we didn't communicate. So oh. we bid against each other on two or three items. <laughs> and it wasn't, uh, you know, when we got it home, it was, I bid on that. No, I bid on that. So we're planning on doing that this year. Okay, well, there you go. Get that communication going. So if I do understand correctly, this is, you know, so this is one of the big fundraisers for the parade, but this is like day before you're getting all of your stuff together, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll have, um, we, we work as a group, and I have a, a fantastic, fantastic committee. Mm -hmm. Everybody does their own thing, and we work together. So, yeah, by, by Friday night, uh, we're set for the parade. Yes. Um, so it's just more of getting the floats and the participants to Blanche Sims School, which is our marshaling area, and then getting them lined up. And then um, Township Supervisor Chris Barnett and Julia Darrymple, who is uh, uh, one of the uh, board members, and a few other board members, Mike Flood, they are back there and they get people lined up ready to go. And then the parade starts. All right. Um, Starts at six o'clock from Blanche Sims. And it's gonna be a little bit different this year with Blanche Sims with the new school being so far back. Mm -hmm. We're, for years we've been used to not having space for floats. 
and participants. Now we have a ton of room. So, you know, the more the merrier. Um, and we do believe uh, with whatever investigation we can do that we are the biggest lighted Christmas parade in the state of Michigan. Awesome. And that goes by numbers. That, mm -hmm. You know, that's what we do. We don't go by length of the parade or anything. We go by numbers of participants. There are a couple other parades that are bigger attendance-wise, but they're also with concerts and mm -hmm. different things like that that draw more people. Yeah. Um, we don't, after having the Holly Jolly on Friday night, um, I really don't want to put a concert on in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, for sure. But um, we get a great response. We get between six to 7,000 people wow. um, at the parade. And uh, this year we have Lake Orion Marching Band. We have the Notre Dame Prep Band coming. Uh, we have a drum line that of gentlemen that consist of former Piston and Detroit Lions drumline members, okay. and they do the whole float themselves with the smoke and all that other stuff. Uh, we also have the Bentley Marching Band is participating this mm -hmm. year, and then we have um, another uh, fife and drum. The Michigan fife and drum group will be there as well. So that's, those are our bands, and, and what we're this year uh, we're having something new is that the Orion um, High School Choir is going to. Okay. Be, have a float and this is the first time they've ever done it so we're really looking forward to that yeah that'll be awesome and then so this year's theme is night at the movies mm -hmm. uh every every parade has a theme or? every year we have a different theme um it's getting tougher and tougher um just because um trying to come up with something unique and different mm -hmm. and this year we thought the movies because of uh the fact is of that there are Christmas movies. I mean, you have Vacation, Christmas Vacation, and mm -hmm. you know the other ones. So I mean, it's it's a it's a fun thing. It's a fun thing we have. Some groups don't do it. I mean, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing we ask the groups not to do is hand anything out, throw any candy or anything to the kids, mm -hmm. and we only want one Santa Claus in the parade. Yes. So. Um, we have that and we have you know santa claus comes down from the north pole with mrs claus <laughs> who mrs claus will be out and about in the community helping promote the parade mm -hmm. um so we try to keep it simple as we can yeah perfect awesome so that'll be saturday december 2nd um and at what time did you say the parade it starts start? at six o'clock um the village police department uh lake Orion pd and the reserves start closing the roads down anywhere between noon and um, three o'clock. By three o'clock, the main roads in the village are pretty much shut down. Mm -hmm. um, and then they start closing the other roads off somewhere between four and five. Um, there's plenty of parking downtown. People can park anywhere that they really want, as long as it's not an illegal parking. Um, and we will have two high school buses uh, driving, pe picking people up. Uh, if they park, um, say, down by Blanche Sims and they want to be in the village, the buses will pick them up, take them down to the village, and um, hopefully they'll be available to take them back. Our buses uh, move our costume characters, and we'll have over 40 over 40 costume characters mm -hmm. this year. Oh, wow. That's uh, impressive. Yeah, we, we've got Mary Poppins. Very. She's flying in from England. And, you know, Mickey and, uh, and Minnie are coming in from Orlando. So awesome. Goofy's coming in from wherever Goofy comes wherever in from. Wherever Goofy. Goofy's yeah. always somewhere else. Yeah. And we also, have, we also have crowd famous Elmo. Oh, uh, yes. You know, Good. Sesame Street shuts down production, so Elmo couldn't be here. <laughs> How kind of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, perfect in the Christmas spirit. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I, mean... I can't thank the committee enough. Um, the Holly Jolly Folly, please, if you want to come, register. You can register online at our website, which is www.orionparade.com. And if you're going to register for the parade, you have to register by the Thursday, which is November 30th. Um, we are not allowing anybody just to show up mm -hmm. uh, because the way we have our system set up is when they come out of the marshaling area, they stop off at our gatekeepers. Our gatekeepers input their number mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. into the system so that when we come up to the stage, our announcers, John Cooper from Galling Buick GMC and Rock and Ronnie, um, know who's there. Um, so we ask that they do that. There is a fee, uh, it's an administrative fee of $15. Uh, nonprofits, they can contact me, mm -hmm. and we usually waive those fees for them. But I mean, it's a fun night, it's a busy night. Um, the parade usually lasts about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. But the one th exciting thing we're doing is we are hopefully, depending on the weather, because we couldn't do it last year, um, putting up a tent um, in the village at Shad Bolt and uh, Broadway, mm -hmm. where after the parade, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus and their elves and some other helpers and some other people will be there to listen to the kids um, get their wishes for Santa. And my pick photography will be there and they will be taking pictures of the kids with Santa and Mrs. Claus and the elves for free. And you get your picture that night and you walk, you walk away with that so that way, you know, uh, first of all, you're being in the village and you're seeing mm -hmm. Santa Claus and you don't have to stand in the long lines at the malls. Yes, perfect. But yeah, that's it again. Um, I think on TV, you guys do a great job of helping us by you know, promoting it and also by being there and filming it. You guys do a great job of, of everything and I can't, can't thank the community enough for participating in the parade or being there. Um, I've been to a lot of events and that's all we hear about is that kicks off our Holiday season is the Christmas parade. Of course, absolutely. Well, we have a lot of stuff to look forward to. I know I am looking forward to the holiday season. This has been Orion Outreach. Thank you very Thank much you for so having me. Thank you so much for watching.